what's up you guys off to share reacts here and today i'm going to be reacting to some more angel this is season five episode two uh and it is titled uh just rewards so spike's back and spike is up there with angel now angel doesn't have to be alone i mean like he was never alone up there because i always had faith out there for like just to keep him company but like yay um anyways so yeah that's the thing that happened um I'm sorry if I, like, if you can't understand, like, if I've got a little bit of a lisp. Um, I have a sore in my mouth and it's been like that for, like, two weeks now. Um, and basically I'm trying to, I'm trying to get it fixed. It's not working. I've, I've got, like, numbing cream on it at the moment. Uh, so yeah. <laughs> Just thought I'd let you know that piece of information. Um, I hope I didn't gross anyone out. Uh, anyways. So yeah. Spike is back. Yay. Oh my god. I'm so excited. Um, it's Spike! <laughs> okay. Anyways. Um, let's get into it. Nineteen- it's been nineteen days? Stop it, I'm gonna cry again, yeah, this is triggering. <laughs> but like, he's alive, so I don't care. I do care. But you're dead. Well, yeah, who here isn't? Besides him, and him, and her, and... What are you again? <laughs> Okay, first of all, why and what? This is awkward. Bugger. <laughs> so was he a ghost? What's happened to me? Ghost Spike, this is gonna be great. Well, I'm no doctor, but I think you're a ghost. I'm no, I'm no bloody ghost. Hey. Buffy, is she? She's okay. Where, where is she? Europe. Why you? You can't keep her from me. She's not mine to keep. You got no idea what we had. You never had her. More than yes. you. You Ponzi. Oh, yeah. Oh, God. I don't know. <laughs> so he's a good guy vampire, like Angel. He's nothing like me. Got that right? What have you done to me? <laughs> what is he doing? Oh, story. <laughs> story. Yeah, the Vampire Slayer. Both men loved. Both men lost. Oh, I could sell that to any studio in a heartbeat. Weird. I'm getting electromagnetic readings consistent with spiritual entities, but there's no ectoplasmic matrix. Meaning? Ectoplasm is what makes ghosts visible to the human eye. If he's a ghost, technically we shouldn't be able to see him. And I'm detecting brainwave activity. And Spike? <laughs> that is weird. Okay, he's connected to the amulet. Last I heard, it was buried deep inside of the hell mouth. How did it end up here? Maybe he's here for a reason. You know, some yeah, higher weird. purpose or something he's destined for. You think that saving the sodden world would be enough to earn me a rest? You think? No, don't do that. Spike. Hmm? Don't do that. Oh, balls. This is your fault. Mine. You brought that ruddy amulet to Sunnydale. You would have been the one to use it until you chickened out. What did you... You heard me. You left town in the nick of time, didn't you? Before the death and mayhem. Abandoned the woman you claimed to love. She made the call. Wasn't my choice. Spike has a soul? You never said. Didn't seem worth mentioning. Seems to be a lot of that. Or maybe Captain Forehead was feeling a little less special. <laughs> Didn't like me crashing his exclusive club. That's, that is a true. Vampire with a soul. I'm not responsible for what happened to you. Angel, it's almost three o'clock. You have a meeting not scheduled. Not now, Harmony. I know you, Angel. What do you think you're doing? Made some devil's bargain to take mm -hmm. over this company. Thought you'd use it to fight the evil of the world from inside the belly of the beast. Trouble is, you're too busy fighting to see you and yours are getting digested. Not gonna happen. What? You think you're in control here? Guess again, mate. Oh, he comes through oh, the rest of you. Somebody want to tell me how a Groxlar beast got past security? That was your three o'clock. That. Mm. 
That is a little bit unlike him, though, I to mean, just attack with Grox without lives, knowing. They eat babies. Just their heads. Actually, the Groxlar clan respects someone who takes a strong opening position. Wolfram and Hart didn't just jack me up here with the human laws, also demon laws from every dimension. If you want to talk or something, you know, about us or... Okay. <laughs> Too soon. Sweet. I understand. Slayer-loving freak. I'm in a meeting, Spike. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't care. <laughs> We're ruffling a lot of dangerous feathers on this. There's gonna be a backlash. Count on it. Well, we'll just have to ride out the ripples for a while. IAD is under contract to provide fresh bodies to Magnus Hainsley. We stopped delivering, and he is not gonna be... thrilled. You tell Mr... <clears throat> Hainsley. Hainsley that Wolfram and Hart is under new management and out of the grave robbing business. This is this what you do now? Delegate the dirty work to spineless low-level flunkies? No offense. The mighty hero, reduced to a bloody bureaucrat. If a certain slayer could see you now. Get out of here, Spike. Wolfram and Hart gave me the amulet. They must have expected me to use it. And they had to have known it would have done to me what it did to Spike, so... Why bother handing you the keys to the kingdom? Doesn't make sense. What are the That's what I said. Maybe is that what I said? Is. I can't remember. Well, <laughs> I feel like I said that. Another player in the game they and we don't know anything about. The yeah, amulet's I mean, Wolfram and Hart's property. It's bound to this place. And since Spike's connected to it... Hey, I'm nobody's bloody property, Percy. So what? I'm just stuck here forever? I bet These voice lines are re-recorded. Knowing you'll be haunting me till the end of time. <laughs> what is... Hmm, old Bucket's here was right. You guys are doing a bang-up job. Well, he's a necromancer. Power over the dead, that explains the bodies Wolfram and Hart's been providing him. But not what he's been doing with them. Out of my chair. Make me. We should probably avoid an eye for an eye escalation here. Not going for his eyes, Wes. I know what you should go for. It'll hurt him. Bad. Spike, get out of the car. What if he's secretly mm. the first? What? It's haunting you until I'm the end of time. I'm just saying, that'd be funny. starting to sound appealing. I can Actually, no, I'm glad it's, it's Spike. I'm, right I'm out of hoping it's Spike. Yeah, and you were... I'm from Wolfram and Hart. I'm his date. <laughs> Mr. Hainsley is with a customer. <laughs> I'm afraid he does not suffer interruption. I'm like from Wolfram and Hart. That's a worry. I'm his date. Suffering. Go ahead and interrupt. Oh! They're like mannequins, but like nice real people, dollars. I'm guessing. Pretty people just seem to have it. So much. Oh, whoa. There's something you don't see every year. Oh. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, that's feeling a little weird. Oh, that's weird. There like are a some more men from and Hart asking to see you. Mr. Hainsley has asked that I send you back to Wolfram and Hart, gentlemen. In a manner of speaking. Okay, uh -oh. sure. Looks like it's buckets for you. Ah! <laughs> I save the world, throw myself on the proverbial hand grenade for love, honor, and all the right reasons, and what do I get? Bloody well toasted and ghosted is what I get in it. It's just not fair. Fair? You asked for a soul. I didn't. It almost killed me. I spent a hundred years trying to come to terms with infinite remorse. You spent three weeks moaning in a basement, and then you were fine. What's fair about that? I'm cutting off your supply, Ainsley. As of now, your body shop is... Ah! Who do you think you're talking to? Oh, yeah, because he's a dead body. My baby. A ghost, huh? You brought a ghost as your backup vampire? I'm not here to back him up. I just taunt the bastard. Stay out of this. Oh, stick it. As far as it'll go. Gun. Do it. And what was that? Just call in an airstrike? I just froze all your bank accounts, terminated your paper assets, and turned your books over to a very motivated contact we had. That the was the plan? That's how you're gonna fight the forces of evil now? Call the IRS? Whatever it takes. Hello, IRS. Could you fight my battles for me? And while you're at it, could you wipe my wide spot again? Oh, thank God. I can give you back what's been taken from you. Freedom. Power of choice. I can put your destiny back in your own flesh and bone hands. But to do that, I need you to do something for me. Something that might require... Hurt Angel? Is that it? You want me to hurt Angel? 
explain to me how we're gonna get him out of here. He can't get out of here. There's not much. Not in the way of releasing Spike from it, anyway. At least not in the conventional sense. And what's the unconventional sense? Something he asked for. Eternal rest. Yeah, let's not do that. I know he's already dead, but he'd be gone dead forever. It just doesn't seem right. I agree, but neither is leaving him here. Trapped between realms, the amulet's protected, invulnerable to anything, but the magic that's protecting it doesn't work on hallowed ground. Hallow? Like a church? Or cemetery, yes. It has to be taken there and destroyed. I think I want to sleep on it. Look, Spike. Necromancer tried to make a deal with me. What? Said he could bring me back. Body and soul. If I used our close personal relationship to double cross you. Even if Mr. Death could do what he promised, I trust him about as much as you trust me. I can't live like this, Angel. Being useless. Being nothing. I want it to end. I'm glad it's you, though. Finally doing me in. Feels right. You being my grandsire and all. Goodbye, Spike. See you around, Angel. Uh, I think you missed. Oh! He's a vampire. I should think twice before messing with a man who wields power over all things life. Took your sweet time stepping in, Ainsley. I came this close to getting a one-way to the great beyond. Relax, son. I wasn't going to let Spike, anything happen. Spike, give us so. Come on. You're the linchpin of my plan. Spike. You better hold up your end of this. This is very unsoul like for yes, you. you are. What do you think the senior partners are going to do to you when I turn up missing? Oh, you're not going to be missing. You're going to show up to work bright-eyed and bushy-tailed tomorrow morning. Because you're going to put Spike in you. him, aren't you? Me. I don't think Spike would want that. I feel like this Spike. I'm back. so confused. I'll take yours for a test drive. Maybe I'll have a go with that Fred. She looks like a goer. And she seems to really look up to you. That's 100% not a way Spike would you know speak. What? You're right. I don't agree. can't control me for long. I hold the power. I rule the dead. No! That was you hitting me? The last bit, yeah. Haynes has been dead since he hit the table. <laughs> oh, so it's a freaking... Oh. So basically, they were just trying to trick the audience. Thanks, Joss. I appreciate that. That's so rude. Angel knew the whole time. That's so sneaky. Wesley's the occult expert. He he was trained as a watcher. He knows about the supernatural. Yeah, but you're the science queen. The hows, the what ifs. That's your cup of tea. You figure things out in that cute little noggin of yours. I'm slipping. What? I don't want to go, but it's like, it's like the ground underneath me is splitting open and my legs are straddling both sides of this bloody big chasm. I know what's down there. Well, it's trying to take me. And it's not the place heroes go and I'm terrified. Help me. I'll help you, Spike. Wow. Spike is officially here. He's officially part of the team, I guess. I don't know. That's so mean. That was just like trying to trick the... I don't like that. But I knew it wasn't my Spike. I knew it wasn't the Spike that... Like, you know what I mean? 
really did enjoy that. I hope you guys enjoyed my reaction. And I'll see you on the next one.